So as you can see, uh, I've already uploaded my files. Everything's good and ready to roll. So now we can go ahead and hop into installing this domain. All right, so uh, if I open up this stuff in here, what I'm going to do is, since I'm installing this on Drupalials, I can either choose to install it with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash the site name. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, .net with the uh, www. And um, one of the things to keep in mind if you're installing this into a directory, you know, if I were to use that my blog folder, what I would do is just do that and then type in install.php. But the uh, fact is, is that I'm installing this on my home page, so all I'm going to be doing is forward slash install.php, and hopefully this will work out. Okay, so select in installation profile. We're just going to do standard. That way it'll uh, go ahead and run all the modules and all that good stuff. We are, of course, going to use English, and here's where we're going to see errors, if there are any. All right, so of course now we have the ability to uh, choose the database type. And, of course, what we have to do is we have to insert our uh, database name, username, and password, and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab that stuff. I'm just going to grab my uh, username, or database name. Right, I'm going to punch in my uh, username. Go ahead and punch in my password. And of course, the advanced options down here are if you need to include the port, the prefix, and all that good stuff. All right, I'm just going to leave my uh, database host in here, and that's it. And then of course, once you have entered that information, go ahead and hit save and continue. And it should go ahead and rock. <clears throat> all right, that's a good sign right there. All right, and of course, the uh, next bit of this, we are setting up our site information. You know, for example, what I'm going to call this, I'm just going to call this Drupalials.net, uh, Drupal Tutorials. Now, just remember, this is what's going to display in the header of, uh, you know, the, the domain. So if you just want to use it as Drupalials.net, that's fine. I'm just putting this up here just for the hell of it, basically. So uh, site email address. This is, of course, going to be an email that you're going to want to be able to use. And for the uh, username, I'm just going to do a username in here. I'm going to use the same pass or same email address. course uh, you can choose what default country you want I'm just going to uh, type this out and uh, that is my time zone and update notifications should be good to go you obviously you can uh, choose if you want these notifications or not so I'm just gonna hit save and continue So now we've got it all set up and we're ready to roll here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, make this installation complete. All right, now we have our new site. Okay, so uh, again, if you have any errors, and uh, I mean any kind of errors, don't just, you know, if you see a couple lines and don't just forget about it. Uh, record those errors. And, you know, I would probably, you know, if you want, search it on Drupal, see if there's any quick fixes. And of course, you know, anytime you have an error, send it to us. We will uh, help you out with just the basic install. All right, so now we've got our home page. All right, you can see that the title in here is all fixed up. No front page content has been created yet. Well, if you don't like the way that this is reading and you want to be able to change the information that you just plugged in, all you have to do is come up here to configuration. Taking a little long. All right, and then of course all we have to do is come into the uh, site information part, and uh, this is essentially where you can change this stuff. So if I did just want this to say Drupalials.net, that's all I have to do. And uh, obviously you can plug a slogan in here if you want. Number of posts on the front page, ten is usually good. You can obviously turn this off if you wanted if you had a, a homepage template, 
and uh, obviously the node is going to reference the default front page. All right, error pages, you can obviously create custom access denied pages to kind of